Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we're going to be looking at a couple of canoes. I just happened to have a couple of them, and so I said, well, why not just, you know, review them together? It's not, uh, there is a little bit of difference, but the main difference in these, besides the uh, the brand, is uh, on this Uncle Henry, you'll notice that it is uh, got a slight slight curve, slight belly to it, uh, whereas this uh, Queen Cutlery is uh, straight along the bottom. But uh, hey, let's just start off right in the beginning. This is a Queen uh, Cutlery from uh, SMKW Winter Bottom Bone Canoe. And I absolutely love how they do the Winter Bottom Bone. That just looks fantastic. Uh, really nice and smooth uh, transitions. Here's the uh, the back. We're not seeing really any kind of major gapage or anything like that. And we're looking at your basic canoe. This does have uh, half stops. So you got your queen steel there. And there is your tang stamp. And this is in 440C. You know, so that is a definite nice upgrade over the uh, 440A that the original ones were with. And then this one, I think, oh, okay, I thought the part number or model number might be on that side, but it's not. But uh, it shouldn't be hard to find. Here's your pen blade. Uh, so what we're looking at here with this uh, this canoe is you're looking at uh, just over three and a half inches uh, when it's closed. Comes in at uh, 2.9 ounces for your weight. You have a 2.6 inch spear blade and the pin blade is just under two inches. That's a really nice spear and it's got queen steel on the etch. Really nice. It uh, just totally feels great in the hand. I love canoes uh, because they have the bolsters that cover the uh, the tang on this one. Like this one's a little bit proud if you notice because usually on a canoe that's all the way down but they did round that over so it's not too bad but it's proud on this side too which uh, is actually kind of strange because you think that with a canoe that it would come all the way over the top like this one here, the uh, Uncle Henry. Now this one was a gift to me from El Phoenix. Thank you very much. This is the Uncle Henry 11UH. Again, it's got a slight gap in the in the back spring, but nothing that would be a problem. These are really super nice knives. This has got the uh, second gen Staglon on it, which looks really nice, really smooth uh, transitions just like you would think that they would have. And this has a really, like, kind of a stiff pull. No half stops on this guy at all. But really a nice uh, little spear blade there. It's got the Uncle Henry etch. And uh, let's see what that's got on there. I can't really read it, but you guys can, can read that uh, when you get there. Here's your model number, 11UH. But yeah, this is uh, even after oiling and trying to work in this uh, joint man it is it is a stiff strong pull here's your pen blade on this one i don't know if they're all this uh, strong but this guy is probably for a smaller slip joint if you like uh, strong pulls this one definitely will do it uh no real problem with signs of uh blade rubbing or any of that stuff uh really good the steel on this one is a 7CR 17 MOV, like all the other Uncle Henry's. Uh, but yeah, just a fantastic uh, little work knife, nice little pocket dropper. It will definitely get the uh, get the job done. The canoe pattern has been around for a long time, and you know it's it was one of the early patterns that I picked up. I think my first uh, slip joints when I started 
you know, to kind of collect, if you'll remember, I've told the story before, was a uh, copperhead and a canoe, because I really liked the, uh, the bolsters covering up the tanks. Uh, since that time, of course, things have changed. I've kind of liked larger uh, slip joints, and I've kind of really gone to the uh, trapper pattern as a, as a favorite, but uh, really copperheads were right in there too. Uh, canoes, I still find very interesting, and I like them a lot. I'm trying to uh, find a, uh, if I can find such, this may be kind of a quest, but I'm looking for a case canoe that I can use as a work knife. Uh, but, you know, so that means it has to be one with the uh, synthetic uh, covers and stuff, but I don't want to pay a uh, high price for it. So I'll probably look on the secondary and see if I can find a nice one that's not uh, going to break the bank and will uh, serve that purpose. I just don't, uh, you know, feel like, uh, I don't know how you guys feel, but, you know, sometimes the canoe prices uh, get out of hand. I mean, it's nice that we have these uh, wonderful budget options so we can explore the uh, pattern and like it. But uh, a lot of times with the, uh, with the case canoes, they uh, are kind of expensive and they're, you know, like $60 and up. And so I, I like having something that would be more of a budget option. I wish they had a, a $45 option. That would be a little bit nicer. But uh, hey, you get what you get, right? Anyways, just love this bone. I, I got to tell you, man, it's it's awesome. I mean, the, the little medallion could have been just a little bit straighter. Would have been nice, but it's okay. I can definitely live with it. Uh, really like the the winter bottom bone series knives uh it's probably my favorite uh bone that they do in this uh, queen series and that was something that queen knives were known for so if you want to learn more about winter bottom bone uh i had a uh a thing where we talked about it when i did their slimline trapper in uh winter bottom bone and winter bottom being the name of the uh, family that uh used to make this type of jigging and queen used to buy a lot of it so it's a pretty interesting history definitely something to uh to check out if you're interested in such but two great little pocket droppers uh really really enjoy both of them anyways that's all i got for this one i hope to see you guys in the next one it will probably be on wednesday and at uh I don't know which knives I'm going to have on there, so it'll be a mystery to me. It'll be a mystery to you as well. And, of course, uh, don't miss uh, Fixed Blade Friday, and you know that I'll be uh, coming up on the, uh, on the Sunday live streams. So I hope to see you guys there. I will definitely talk to you in the next one. Thanks, guys.